hi friends i'm back with one more video so today's video is going to be on the blue line one of my favorite one of my mentor one of my saver so i treat blue line as a mentor a saver a sort of lifeline so today i'll just show you some tips and pro tips on my live trade it's very difficult for me to show the blue line by doing some simulations but what i thought is like as i promised i already made four to five videos on blue line uh so this will be my fifth video so i'll just try to give you some pro tips on my current trade okay i'll, I'll take you to the sensible this is my uh, live trade though i'm just showing you in the virtual trade because you know right any leg we square off so that will be not showing in the sensible uh, i could have shown this in opstra but you know right uh, sensible makes my job easy because opstra it's a very tedious process for me to check because sensible at least you will get to know why i'm just doing it in the sensible so if you look at my uh, current trade forget about the strategy forget about the strategy we are going to just discuss about the blue line how to make the blue line steep uh, or towards the upside right uh, forget about the strategy so if you look at the profit already uh, on a capital of 1 lakh 32000 i am at a almost like 1.5 percent i could have booked the profit i could have exited the trade but you know right i do basically more of experimental because i play with only single lot until and unless i do the real trades market will not teach me friends there is a big disclaimer all right so you play with single lots that's the that's the good experience you will get with the market <laughs> if you are doing back testing if you are doing front testing if you are simulating that will not give you that real time experience i could have i could have easily booked the profit but still i wanted to see like what all things market has to taught me okay so now if you look at my strategy i'll zoom out not strategy sorry trade uh, the payoff see now i have almost like only 123 loss rupees 123 loss on the call side and i have like almost like 2.87 safety on the put side which is i think looks very decent though i have like unlimited loss on my put side but i have the safety of almost like three percent all right so now now what will happens yeah i have the profit on the downside let's say if nifty makes a down moment of like 0.4 percent or till year till like 2.34 percent i'll be getting with maximum profit which is like three percent on my total capital deployed okay and maybe somewhere between year and year i'll be getting with minimum profit but what if bank nifty makes a upside move right if bank nifty makes a upside move i have only two days for the expiry uh, i'm just doing this video post office hours so i have this two days for the expiry tomorrow and day after so what will happen if N bank nifty goes upside that's where your blue line will come into picture okay so now i wanted to make this blue line see the blue line see i'll show you the blue line goes steep somewhere here meaning one second give me a second friend okay let me zoom this okay so check the blue line the blue line is see your loss will see until the blue line uh what do we say the breaches the zero line your loss will start from there so uh, until from here till this place your loss is zero right your loss will start somewhere from here because the blue line is breaching the zero line now i have to just make this blue line flat so what i can do i'll just zoom out so now you you have to just ask that question to yourself right let's say see i've done like two to three adjustments i have the profit of uh, almost like 1.5 percent i could have i could have just exited but what if if market goes on the upside the the the, the effort what i have put in into this trade in terms of making this trade green all the effort will go into win and i could have missed out my 1.5 percent of profit if the market goes here right so now what i will do what adjustments i have to make right to make this call site free that's it you have to ask that question to yourself like many people will say that you have to go with only one adjustment no, adjustments are dynamic i can show you like two to three adjustments right how about how about deploying a uh, what do we say call ratio spread right one is to one is to one or one is to two okay what i'll do i'll just take you to this ready made feature i'll just deploy a call ratio spread that's it the moment i deployed the call ratio spread so these are the two legs one by and two sold positions don't go on the naming convention check the blue line what happened with your blue line that's that's the one thing see now your blue line is safe till almost like two percent you have the safety of 2.32 percent 
on the call side now all of a sudden your trade has completely changed initially you add only profit on the see i'll deselect see i'll do one thing check the blue line i'll deselect and select check the blue line right until where this is giving see from this is like steep downwards and this is like almost like from the current market it is like upward steep and then at some time it is coming on the downside right we are okay we got almost like 2.32 percent right wherein you have profit on the put side and also the profit on the call side and it's end of the day it's your call <coughs> whether you want one is to two or else if you don't want to have this loss also you can just do the adjustments i've discussed many a times but rather than going for one is to two how about making this one and what i'll do i'll go to see this is a debit spread this is a debit spread right for your existing trade you have deployed a debit spread so you have good profit on the call side but you have some loss on the uh, at the current market price but you have minimized your loss on the puts it all depends on your view so rather than me going for debit spread what i'll do i'll go to add right i bought this i sold this or maybe i'll sell what is half of it maybe like 30 rupees right that's it this is your ratio spread or else let's say if i deselect this thing ideally what i'll do is like to go for the ratio spread what i'll go i'll go for 36400 is your break even right so maybe i'll go for 36300 right or else i'll go for 36200 okay let me see 36200 <coughs> then what is half of uh, 305 so 150 i'll go for selling for 150 stay with me friends stay with me right let me go for 150 and this half of 150 would be at 65 or 70 let me see right that's it check the beauty friend now right this is see check your trade now right your initial trade and this trade so your blue line is in the sorry your market is in the bit on uh, the center your blue line as you see you have the safety till 1.2 percent almost like two percent right you have a safety of almost like 1.5 percent on the call side you have profit on the upside you have the profit on the downside check your pro capital one lakh eighty one thousand your minimum profit is like two thousand seven forty nine is your minimum profit so you have to do this calculation so what is two thousand what is the profit of what is this 2800 2800 divided by your capital is 1 lakh 80 thousand okay into 100 right so you have the minimum of 1.5 percent you have logged your minimum profit and your maximum profit is 2.5 percent this is only as on today but tomorrow and day after tomorrow you will try to add some credit you will try to do some other adjustments and you have to increase your percentage so friends we target basically for one person but the but we got we have logged our trade by one point yes we have unlimited loss on the call side but you will be doing the active adjustments right it is not something like you'll just deploy the trade and you'll you'll go for some picnic or some you'll you'll shut down your machine right? trading doesn't work like this right if you have unlimited on the call and the put side you have to do the active adjustment this is one of the adjustments so we have discussed two adjustments okay see we are not discussing about the adjustments we are discussing about how to make this blue line flat <coughs> when i say flat not steep but steep upwards or make it flat so that you get some discount see if i deselect this check the trade how is a check check the trade the blue line is steep and you have a loss and everything the moment we have done this adjustment check your blue line is perfectly balanced right don't you think uh, whatever adjustments we are doing we are taking the support of the blue line we are just making the blue line right to to have more coverage on the call put side and also on the call side i'll deselect all these things let's say let's say i'll go to some ready-made features let's say what will it what will happen if i go for the put ratio spread right this will not work right though you your uh, profit is increasing to five percent but that's basically when the market has has to fall actually so let me show you the market also right let me take you to this thing the reason why i made this see this is your bank nifty so somehow based on my price action friends you have to focus on the price action somehow based on my price action what did i say see check out beautifully this is acting as a resistance the market went up it took the resistance it came down it took the support of the yellow line because this yellow line took the support in the recency one to right the market has broken the support line it went up okay let me show you in the five minutes let me show you in the five minutes okay see 
this will give you see it went up it took the resistance came down it took the support went up took the resistance broken the your it has broken the support it went up right retested it was there for some time and again it came down again it retest again it is coming down so my my price action says maybe see i might be wrong but i go by my price action maybe bank nifty can just <coughs> fall slowly Okay. if that happens if this happens friends then <coughs> i will be able to trap my market into see let me clear all i will be able to trap my market into this zone right so i have a bigger zone i have like almost from 35500 to 36200 700 points for me to get almost like 3% per week right don't you think this is this is a very good strategy and even if bank nifty makes stays here i'll be getting my 1.5% see already i got my 1.5% if bank nifty makes a downside movement and and able to trap the market within this 6 or 700 range i'll be getting my full maximum profit right so this is what i wanted to show you a lot extend the video Th see you can do n number of things when see you can go for call ratio spread let me go to what will happen if i go for the call back ratio spread right this is this looks very weird so you have to just do uh, r and d so let's say what will happen if i go for the uh, what is it call bull spread that's it see if you go for the call bull spread this is your this thing right so you adjust now see to just make it see the moment you have adjusted this thing so now this side has become uh, red and this side has become good profit so you will be getting 4.9% if someone is concerned about the downside so they have to do their uh, adjustments accordingly see if you are like worried about the calls uh, put side right you have to do the adjustments accordingly see now your put side has become right it's almost giving like 3.1% if someone is uh, worried about put side and also the call side i've shown you right go for the ratio spread right i i'll show you one more time just go here go for others and go for call ratio spread that's it you you are you are safe on the calls put side and you are safe on the call side right check the blue line this is not about discussing the strategy i'm just wanted to see now the blue line is a little bit flat on the calls put side but the blue line is very safe till almost like see almost like because you have two sold positions the moment i make it one see the moment i make it man now you will have some loss on the middle but the blue line is uh, i mean if the market keeps going up you'll get 4% right if the market stays between this range you'll have only this loss if the market comes here you'll be having like minimum profit so this is what i wanted to convey with you okay so i'll just uh, conclude the video uh, as and when i get some other opportunities definitely i'll come with the strategy but i wanted to discuss uh, the blue line with my original trade this is my original trade we have seen i've shown you all the examples how to make the blue line steep upwards how to make the blue line in such a way that you get profit on the upside on the downside if you are more concerned only about the downside so i'll show you one thing friend let's say the market keeps going up simple this check this adjustment right let's say this market see i have the safety of almost like 2.87 percent let's say tomorrow wednesday the market keeps going up i have a loss of 123 what i'll do is like see what i will do is i have this 35500 sell right i'll exit this 35500 check the beauty 35500 exit i'll buy this and then i'll come to 36000 let me show you i'll sell one more 36000 done i am done so now check the beauty now initially if i did not add this adjustment your loss was 123 all right you add a profit of 4875 the moment i've done this adjustment right wherein i've done the roll up simple friend i've done the roll up okay uh, one second what is this this is c yeah 35000 c and c the moment i've done this now check your profit you have profit of 2000 even if the market makes a upper so see we i might have done the adjustment when the market was standing somewhere here right i don't don't have the epic pen let me take the epic pen right you stay with me you got my point right so maybe i might have done that adjustment when the market was standing here because what did i say if i unselect if the market was standing somewhere here so maybe i might have done this adjustment wherein i might have exited this 35500 and i might have sold another 36000 that's it with this your profit is 2000 that is almost how much friend 1.5% minimum you have logged and you still have the potential of getting 4% in case if the market makes a u turn you will be able to trap the market if the market keeps coming back you have to exit this like see there are like n number of adjustments but basically what i am discussing over here is like still i am able to make the blue line almost flat see i'll deselect see my blue line this is what i wanted to convey friends let me delete this my blue line at certain point it is coming down 
all right see it is coming down right the moment i've added this adjustment what what i've done with my blue line see the blue line is going up the blue line is it, it keeps going up so i do not have any loss do you see that blue line anywhere it is coming down and breaching my zero line this zero line no right this is one of the adjustments what i'll be doing tomorrow at wednesday i, th I thought i thought of doing this adjustment but because see the moment i've done that adjustment my 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 uh, put side range has decreased see if i deselect this thing my put side safety was 2.87 yes i'll be doing that adjustments only tomorrow or wednesday when the market keeps going up right if market stands here i'll just go ahead and do this adjustment that's it right my call side has become safe my call side will give me like minimum 1.5 percent on my capital deployed and in case if the market comes uh, in case if the market comes right comes back i'll be able to trap the market into this four percent range all right thank you friends i think the video is getting extended thank you for watching my video so just in case if i come across any other good videos on the blue line i'll just definitely make one more video thank you